all day long, I drift around this big building. And then all of a sudden at 5.30, the building comes to life. There's this mad flurry of activity. People start filing in and the excitement builds. And this is what we're here for. My name is Ann Nelson. I am the owner, operator, steward of the Patricia Theatre with my son, Brian, and the resident theatre cat, Princess Diva. We live in an isolated area, so the number of people that depend on the theatre for their entertainment is the whole regional district. That's 21,000 people, and you can only reach us by air or by water. I try really hard to have a huge variety of programming because there's not the option to say, oh, well, I'll, I'll just go to the next town. The closest movie theater to Powell River is a minimum two hours in a car on a ferry and over $100 in travel costs plus a motel because you're not coming home the same night. Since 1913, it has been the Patricia Entertainment Company and it has always been the social hub for entertainment in this community. Fourteen years ago, there was a very real risk that the community could have lost its only movie theater. The only people who were interested in it were developers who were going to tear it down and use the view property. And so it was really important to the community that it, it kept functioning. And so we did it. We saved the theater. I live in the building. So while this beautiful theater is sleeping, I get to have my own life upstairs and, and pretend that I'm invisible for a little while. Originally I had thought, I can do this till I'm 70, it's cool. Now I'm 74 this year. I can do this till I'm 80, you know, it, it, it's cool. <laughs> There's nothing like walking into a darkened auditorium and either be with friends or instantly make friends with whom you're laughing or crying or gasping. There's nothing like that in, in your living room. This place is special. It deserves to survive. <laughs> <laughs>